guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I promised that I would resin these vases on video so that you can see how I would do it. And I'm gonna resin it two ways, just like I painted these vases two ways. I'm gonna show you two ways to resin them. What I suggest though is resining it on a cup turner if possible. So I actually like painting the vase upside down on a cup like this but by far resining it on a cup turner is better because on the cup here, you're going to end up with drips on the bottom that you will have to sand off. It's not the end of the world, but it's just better on the cup turner. You won't have that issue. It'll be ready to go once it is dry. So I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. And then in each of these, I've added a little something extra. So for the warm tone one here, I'm using uh, Stone Co Countertops Gold Dust. And for the cooler one here, I'm using Diamond Dust. And I just put tiny, tiny bits into my resin and I'll just give just a little something extra, just a tiny sparkle. And I mixed up just about one ounce of resin for each of these. You don't need a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this one on the cup turner. It's pretty easy. Let's scooch this out of the way. Just put on a little bit at a time. If you put on too much, it won't be a thicker coat. It'll just all run off. And I like to put a little piece of plastic down here to protect my cup turner. I've learned this from experience. Otherwise it um, gets this nice pile of resin and then it's no longer level. So I'm just using my hand to make sure I get this fully covered. Don't forget the bottom. And absolutely don't forget the top here, the rim. Little bits at a time. Now, one thing you can do to ensure that you get full coverage, which I usually just kind of plop it on there and then I'll come back and look in a little bit and look from different angles to make sure I got all the spots. But one thing you can do is you can put your hand in one spot and then let it stay there for the entire rotation. And then go to the next spot and do the same thing. So that can help ensure that you get full coverage. Now I would recommend doing two thin coats rather than trying to do a thick coat because it's a round surface. You really can't do a thick coat. It'll all just run off. So I'm just getting full coverage here. And make sure on the top here, I usually just run my finger all along the, the actual rim of the vase just to make sure that gets fully covered as well. Okay, and that's about it for that one. It is fully covered. Let's go ahead and work on the next one. Now I probably have a tiny bit of gold dust on, or diamond dust on here. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. It is just a tiny bit and it just adds a little sparkle. So we'll do the same thing over here I'm gonna pour a little bit on the top and then I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it down. Start off with a little bit. You can always add more. If you pour too much, it's just gonna run off. And go down in kind of like stripes here. At this stage, I wanna add a little more. And same thing, make sure you get the, the bottom here and run your hand along the entire rim of the base. I will say doing it this way too, it's also a little bit harder to get full coverage. With the cup turner, it's rotating, it's easy to see all sides. With this, it's a little more difficult. But I wanted to show you guys how it can be done just in case you don't have a cup turner, you can still make vases. No problem. However, cup turners are so cheap, I recommend just investing in one or two or 10. Okay. So this looks like it's fully covered to me. Just gonna double check, turn it. Okay. Excellent. Now to get rid of the air bubbles, you could do a few things. You could torch it, you can heat gun it, or you can spritz it with isopropyl alcohol. 
on both of these, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit them with my heat gun real quick. And that's all there is to it. Double check to make sure you didn't miss any spots and then just leave them be until they are fully dry. So this resin has about a 24 hour dry time. So I'm gonna leave this on here for the full 24 hours. I'm not gonna to touch it. Even in 24 hours, it can still be a little sticky if it's cold. So you might wanna wait even longer than that. You can always test the drips underneath for both of these and make sure that that is fully dry before you go ahead and take it off your cup turner or off of the cup. And then in terms of this one, uh, we'll come back once these are both dry and I'll show you how I handle the rim. If you really want to, you can kind of babysit it like this, but you will really have to stay there for quite a while or keep coming back. So I generally just sand it at the end. We'll go ahead and come back when these are all dry. Okay, we're back. So here are our, our vases. Totally dry, look how shiny that is. And you can kind of see the sparkles in there a little bit from that diamond dust. Super pretty, super easy. If you want to, you can put two coats. And here is our other one with the little bits of gold dust in there. Hopefully you can see through the camera that sparkle. So this is the one that was on the cup. And as you can see, there are some drips here on the top. So a couple ways that you can handle that. Um, you can take a razor and you can just cut them off. You can actually take a heat gun with a scraper on it and you can heat it up and scrape them off. Or you can just sand them down. That's what I usually do. For me, that's the easiest. But I know for some other people, they prefer other methods. Once you've sanded it down, it will be matte. I don't particularly worry about it, but if you wanted to have it shiny again, you could take just a tiny, tiny bit of resin on your finger and just go along the top and that will fix that. So that is how you resin bases, two different methods depending on the materials that you use. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time.